everyone it's Desiree and I am here with another project featuring rubber stamp tapestry so yes this is a design team project so I'm going to be using their peg stamp set called snowstorm so you get all these beautiful snowflakes in this peg set it is a five peg set and as always they have the registry and that will tell you if you have that registry facing towards you, this is how that image will look after it is stamped. So there's different sizes, different looks when it comes to these snowflakes. I have my card base ready. I have a piece of light blue cardstock. Um, I forget what this is called. And then I also have the outline die of a snowflake um, die from my stash. And I'm going to stamp or I'm going to die cut this out. And then I have my white card stock that I'll be doing my stamping on. Now my sentiment, I'm going to use a sentiment from the Winter Wishes. And I am finding, I am loving this set it's so versatile but yet it can go for the winter it can go for the holidays um, and i'm going to use this uh, sentiment here scatter kindness like snowflakes so i thought that was really cool so let me die cut this and we'll be right back Okay, so I am back. So I'm going to set that aside. I'm not going to need that again. And that's my cutout. I keep forgetting I have a black mat down here, so I don't need to do that. So it's just the image. Now I can save this. I mean, it's a good piece of cardstock. I can save it for another project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to line this up on my white cardstock for the most part. And I'm going to grab a pencil eventually here. There we go. And I'm going to lightly just make the outer marks so I know it's going to give me somewhat of an idea of where I'm going to stamp because I want to fill this area in with. Um, snowflakes. Now I don't know if you see that because I've again very light, very light. So I'm going to set these two pieces aside. Except you know what? I think I'm going to stamp my sentiment. I want to get that out of the way before I make any mistakes on that. So I am going to use my positioning tool. So let's grab my sentiments. Let's see. And it's all the way up to the top. Uh, la, 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 la. Yes. So let's just make sure. Scatter. Yes. So I believe I do have this straight. But again, you know, when I mount these, I try to have it straight. And if not, you know what? I'm actually going to offset that and I got to remember to take out I always forget to do that if you have a stamp positioner you don't need to have the foam in place when you have a rubber stamp that's mounted now the inks that I'm going to be using <clears throat> depending upon when this video um, is shown you'll be seeing that I've been using the scrapbook.com hybrid ink pads and again they have the sets this is sky 3 sky 4 this one's sky 2 and then that sky 1 so they do look similar to another um, and you know I just I wanted to try them out so um, I did these were not sent to me I actually made this purchase um, and you know so far um, I, I think they're very good so far I will be having a video on these comparing them to the ones 
of who they look like. You know, all to do. Let's just say. Um, and there was some some um, some testing that I've already done, and there were some great results. So these do have a better price point as well. So you'll see me using these more. I like to really, really test them out um, before I, I talk about them. They do have the same type of case, which bottom line I struggle with because nine out of 10, it goes flying across the, the table. So I'm going to actually use, which one am I using? Um, Sky four coastal storm. Just going to make sure that's inked up. I'm going to press down and I'm just going to stamp one more time pressing down lightly. Make sure I put my cap back on. Okay. Let's clean off my stamp. And then I can put this out of my way. And I know I don't need this anymore. Okay, so I am going to get these in line. So for the majority of the colors with scrapbook, they have colors one to four. There's a gray and another color that has three shades. There is a dye ink black. There's a white pigment. And then there's a black hybrid um, ink when it comes to this set. And then there's a, a red. I forget the name of it. And again, I'll give all of this again when I do that video. And then there's a side green. Um, so, as I said, yeah, they do. They are working nicely i do like the way they stamp i do like the way that they um layer and i do like the color choices that they have so this is glass slipper this is sky blue this is lagoon blue and this is coastal storm so let's get started and the piece that I'm going to stamp on, of course, is the white. Now, I just need to get, as I walk away from my phone there, as I always do, I just want to get a baby wipe. I always have a baby wipe near me so that I can clean my peg stamps. I'll keep that there. So, again, remember your rule of thumb when it comes to your peg stamps. You start with your largest and then you go down. And that's how you can just fill this whole area in. So I'm going to start with my largest. There's only two sizes. And I'm going to go in. And I'm going to stamp on the other side because I don't have a scrap piece near me. And I just want to make sure what it looks like and what it feels like to go straight down. So here we go. Now, we're just going to fill this in. It's one of the things that I love. When it comes to these stamps, we can just fill the area in. And I think that's enough with that one. I'm going to now come in and I think I'm going to use sky blue for the next one. All right, I'm going to come in with that. I'm going to stamp down on that piece of paper. That's funny. I'm just going to stamp around. I'm going to come in with my next one and this one I think I'm going to use glass slipper and this is a very pale um, very pale like aqua um, it's a beautiful color actually and I'm really going to fill the area up with this one because your smaller ones are like those fillers so I've got that nice and full. I'm going to come in with the next one. And for that, I think I'm going to use the Lagoon. So again, I'm going to come in. And the beauty is these are awesome when you layer them. And that is my phone. Hang on for one second. Oh, so sorry about that, guys. I thought I had that on mute and it is now so i'm just going to keep on coming in i'm going to fill this up 
with this one as well and just fill that in in different areas so we've got some great coverage going on but I do love it when you overlap I think that's when everything really does come to life when it comes to these peg stamps I'm gonna go back into this dark one and I'm gonna add some more of those kind of balance all that out and then I think I'm actually gonna come back in with this and I think I'm gonna come back in with a sky blue on that one but I'm gonna make it lighter again just to fill that in because that aqua is just so pale which is good so I do like that I like the way that looks all filled up so I'm gonna bring in this piece and I'm just going to put that on top because I want to make sure that I've got everything that that area is covered up and it is now I'm going to come in with my heat tool because I want to make sure that this is dry so that I can erase those lines now watch it's not dry and i'll erase something that i shouldn't because that's what i do but let's see here and really it's just this line right here okay she's gone and we got that one and we got that one That one okay great so all of my pencil lines are gone and I'm going to get my ink pads covered because if I don't I will put my hand in them and I will get ink everywhere because it's just my craftiness I'm gonna make sure my lids have snapped on and set those aside okay so for this panel what i want to do is i want to prop this up so i want to get some double-sided foam so the other thing that i've been trying out is the scrapbook.com foam um i like it um, i think it's really good i wish it would be a bigger roll now, the only thing that I have not tried this, um, tried this out with is shakers. I am, <clears throat> I'm a creature of habit. <laughs> and you know, once I start using something, it's really tough for me to switch um, because it's, it's been working. I don't know do any of you do that too I mean yes I will try the new things and and, and all of that um, but there's a lot of times now this is their quarter inch the release paper comes off beautifully it is nice it's solid so that that I will say but um, and it comes in awesome different widths that's the other thing that I love but there are a lot of things now one of the things that I am very used to is the scotch 3m it's it does have a very high price point depending upon where you can get it when you can find it um, but I am a fan of the scotch 3m for my shaker cards i just think it's it's easy to use um i can double it up very easy 
so yeah, I think it's going to be tough for me to, to come off of that one. Um, but again, creature of habit, that's all that means. I am also one that loves to put a lot of foam tape down too, as you can see. Yeah, you can see this here because I don't want it to collapse. Now, you could have also taken a piece of fun foam if you wanted to and then die cut the piece and you would have had that um, whole piece on top of this. And then I just put my extra pieces back onto the roll. So now what I want to do is I'm going to remove the release paper and you can see just how it, it comes off absolutely wonderfully. So I'm going to remove this and then I'm going to bring my stamp panel to it. I'm not going to lay this down onto my stamp panel. And basically what I find is easy or an easier way to do this is by keeping this down onto my mat. I can bring this making sure that I've got this piece even with that. You know, I don't want to do this, but just to make sure that this is even. And when I flip it over, I can match up the bottom corner. I can put my thumb down and I can still wiggle that one piece back and forth to try to get it even. I may not be even. And I am just slightly off, but that's okay because I can come in with my long shears and just trim around the two edges so that you don't see the white. Okay, let me move that because that's creating a wet spot there. So that is that. Now here's my card base. So I'm going to use a tape runner because it is my goal to use up my tape runners. Um, I'm really not, and I'm not doing this more just to, for that, but because it's an uneven surface, it's not going on solid, but it is my goal to use up my tape runners. I'm really not a tape runner, so if I use them up, yay, and then I doubt I'll ever, except my ATG gun. I love my ATG gun. Okay, so let's get some, this needs a little salt and foam. A little something more. So we need some sparkle. So let's find, there they are, my staple sequins, and they are my iridescent. I love my iridescent sequins. They are really the sequins that I grab for the most. Um, you know what? There we go. Um, I, I just love the look of them. And I think they change depending upon what card stock you put them on. They actually change a color. So I'm definitely going to start with the dark blues. Get those in there. We're going to put some here. So we're just going to fill this card up with sequins. I'm going to also put some here as well. I'm going to pull in my wax pencil and we're just going to have some fun placing these down. Now, after I place the sequin down with my wax pencil, I'm actually wiping it because there is glue that's coming through the sequin. 
and I just want to make sure that glue is not on the wax pencil. Place that down. Got that. And now we're going to go to the inside. We're just going to, this is very methodical. So lots of sequins. I just do. I, I am a fan of these. I just think they're pretty. Um, I like the fact that they are see-through. Though I always have to remember where I put the glue. I'm just saying. And can I always forget? And see, that's why I wipe it. Because that had glue, and now we've got glue everywhere. But that's okay. Let's see, any more? Oh, yep, yeah, we got one more. Okay, I think I'm just going to turn it to the side, see if I've got more. Nope. Let's clean this up. Now, what I also like to do is I drop one and it fell. There we go. I also like to bring in either stickles um, or Nuvo, you know, your, your Nuvo glitter drops, because I do like to put, I actually grabbed my Stardust stickles, and I do like to put a small drop inside the sequin. It just adds a little more sparkle. It doesn't need much. And then I do take the nozzle and I just push it around. But you don't have to pull out if you don't have a glitter pen. I truly am a fan of the stickles, don't get me wrong, I like the Nuvo. Um, I think there's some beautiful colors. But I do gravitate towards my stickles. I think there's some great colors. They're not going anywhere. Oh, missed one. Now remember, with your stickles, they do not, I'm going to gently tap, yes it was general, remember this is glass, um, remember with your stickles, they don't hold their shape, you know, your Nuvo drops, they, they kind of hold that dome shape, your stickles don't, they will level out, and that's what else I like with them. So that is our project today featuring rubber stamp tapestry and using their snowstorm peg stamp set. So I do hope you enjoyed this. Um, I hope if you don't have this peg stamp, use what you have in your stash by all means. I will have linked below the products that I did use for this product. If you want to read up more on them, just learn about them um, and so forth. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure you leave those down below as well. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. I think I finally got caught up <laughs> on those comments. Um, but I always do tend to fall behind just a little bit. And please, if you have the scrapbook.com inks as well, let me know your thoughts down below. Um, also, you know, what you think, what worked for you. Um, and any issues that you might have had with it or the successes that you've had for it so that I can, you know, also look at that too as I put that video together. 
I hope everyone's having a great day, and I thank you so much for taking this time just to stop by. I hope you are enjoying your new year. Please, if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe. Make sure you ring the bell so that you know when the next video is live and ready for you to watch, and also hit the thumbs up. Again, enjoy your day, but always remember what's most important for me. Always be creative. Till next time, guys. Bye.